just one object on its own, which is 0 0.3, so p is equal to 0 0.3. That's from our scenario that we just that we just set up. Okay, the probability okay that an airbag fails to inflate is 0 0.3. Okay, and we need to know we need to know x. Yeah, x is out of the four objects. What are we interested in? Now the context of the experiment is all about failing to inflate and the probability we want to calculate is what is the probability that all airbags fail to inflate? Well all the airbags failing to inflate would be the whole four of them, so x is equal to four. Okay? So this becomes the probability okay, that if the car is in a car crash, okay, that four airbags fails to inflate, fail to inflate, well that's equal to ncx which is 4c4 Okay. times 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 times 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 minus 4. Okay. Once again, I always do the basic arithmetic first. This becomes 4c4 times 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 times 0 0.7 raised to the power of 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7. Just recall that any number x raised to the power of 0 is always equal to 1, okay? And also, well, when we do it on the calculator, 4c4, how many ways can you select 4 objects from 4 objects? Well, there's only one way to do that. But let's do it on the calculator. 4, second function, the NCR button, 4, and clearly see we get 1. So 4c4, 4c4 is also equal to 1. So actually the probability, this is 1, this is 1, so 1 times 0 0.3 to the 4 is 0 0.3 to the 4, times 1 is 0 0.3 to the 4. So this just reduces to 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4. And 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4, on my calculator, 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 gives us a probability of 0 0.008. Yeah? So really what this is saying is, if I multiply that by 100, Okay, I get 0.8, okay, so this is, let's say, equivalent to 0.8%. So we let, we have, if the probability of any airbag failing to inf inflate is 0 0.3, or if there's a 30% likelihood that an airbag will fail to inflate, the probability that all of the airbags fail to inflate is less than 1%, okay? Let's do another example, okay, and then maybe we can uh, we can move on. Another example in this context, let's call this C, okay. Uh, the question is, what is the probability, what is the probability, okay, okay, okay uh, that at least, that at least two airbags, airbags, fail to inflate. Okay. Once again, we're talking about failing to inflate. Well, at least two airbags failing to inflate means that either two failed or three failed, because three is at least two. Okay. Okay. Or all of them, four of them failed. Okay. So to calculate this probability, okay, uh, once again, let's write down our formula. The probability that x takes on a specific value is equal to n c x times p to the power of x times 1 minus p to the power of n minus x. Okay? n in our scenario is equal to 4. p is the probability in this case of an airbag failing to infl inflate is 0 0.3. And x, well x is, well x could be one of three particular values. It could be 2 or 3 or 4. So we need to calculate three probabilities. Let me write it down in a little bit more uh, rigor. Yeah? This whole scenario here is what is the probability that the random variable, okay, what is the probability that if we're in a car crash that at least two airbags fail to inflate, in other words that in the car crash that at least two airbags, that's at least two, fail to inflate. Well this is equal to the probability that x t is equal to two or the probability that x, oh sorry, or x is equal to three or x is equal to 4. This is the addition rule, so this becomes the probability that x is equal to 2, plus the probability that x is equal to 3, plus the probability that x is equal to 4. From our previous example, we already know what the probability of x being equal to 4 is. It's, it's 0 0.008. 
And from the earlier example, we also know what the probability of x being equal to 2 is. It's 0.2646. So the only probability that we need to calculate here is the probability of x being equal to 3. Now, when x is equal to 3, the probability uh, that x is equal to 3 is 4c3 times 0 0.3 raised to the power of 3 times 1 minus 0 0.3 raised to the power of 4 minus 3. That gives us a value well, well 4c3, how many ways can we select 3 items from 4? Well, let's have a look at that. 4, second function, the NCR button 3, 4c3 gives us 4, so this is 4 times 0 0.3 cubed times 0 0.7 raised to the power of 1. So when I calculate this, this is it's 4 times 0.3 cubed times 0.7 to the power of 1, which is just 0.7, gives us 0 0.0756. Sorry guys, my, my pen is running out of ink here. Okay. Uh, so our overall probability is the probability that x is equal to 2, plus the probability that x is equal to 3, plus the probability that x is equal to 4. So let me just put this here as an aside. Okay. So our overall probability continued. The probability that x is equal to 2 so from the first scenario is 0.2646. So this is 0 0.2646. Plus the probability that x is equal to 3 is, we've just calculated it, 0 0.0756. Plus the probability that x is equal to 4, and we have that also from a previous example, is 0 0.008. So this is uh, 0 0.008 giving us a probability when we sum these up it's 0 0.2646 plus 0 0.0756 plus 0 0.008 gives us a probability of 0 0.3482 so what we're really saying here is if you're in a car crash right, you're unfortunate to be in a car crash and if there's four airbags in the car the chances that two airbags fail to inflate, or three or four, is you have a 34, or about 35% likelihood of that happening. Uh, okay guys, uh, once again this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video dealing with an example of the application of the binomial uh, distribution okay uh, well this short video is dealing with an application of the binomial distribution to a scenario uh, and i hope that this video was somewhat helpful okay okay thank you for your time bye bye